What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be learning about executing unit tests through CICD with Code Magic. You might have missed the previous video on Code Magic where I taught you guys how to set up CICD and what it is. If you haven't seen that video, I'll drop a link down below. That said, drop a like on this video, hit subscribe, and let's jump into it. So, first things first, we already have our Code Magic account set up. You can go ahead and create or log into yours. It's completely free to create and get started. I've also got our Spotify project app uh, created and added here to our Code Magic dashboard. This is the app that we added in the previous video. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to take a look at how to execute unit tests. Now, before we actually uh, update the YAML file that we'll need to do, let's jump into our projects. I've got the Spotify project here, and we actually have a Spotify tests target. Now, this test target is where you can add a bunch of different unit tests. Now, you can see here that I've got one added already. We're going to add two more tests together, and then we're going to run it on CodeMagic CI. So how do we actually write a test and what does it do? Well, the test is there to validate some sort of functionality. Now, tests can get incredibly complex and they can be really useful, but we're gonna keep our test fairly simple to focus on the CI CD part of things for today. So we'll see here that we have a folder of view models in our uh, main application in the Spotify folder. The first one here that we're gonna look at is this feature playlist cell view model. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the name of that. We're gonna jump back to our test file here and we're gonna write two tests. I'm just gonna prefix the test, paste it on in, and we're gonna go ahead and create an instance of this view model. So it looks like this view model actually represents a playlist. So maybe the name of this playlist is Summer Vibes, just like that. Maybe the artwork URL in this case will be nil. And maybe the creator name of this is going to be, uh, I don't know, All American, which is a band. So this is our view model here. Now our test in this case is gonna verify that the arguments that we're supplying into the initializer here is what actually ends up getting set. So we're gonna do assertion. So we're gonna say exe assert equals that our view models dot name is this summer vibes that we have uh, passed in up there. Now obviously, like I was saying, this is a fairly trivial case because we can see we're passing it on in and our view model doesn't do anything in particular. Now for a view model, maybe you know took in the string and transformed it, we would verify that functionality here. Similarly, for this equal assertion, we're going to go ahead and say xc assert nil. We're going to verify that the view model artwork URL is in fact nil. Now let's go ahead and write one more test. And this one, I'm going to just do some basic functionality. I'm going to say test math. And we're going to go ahead and say xc assert equals. And we're going to go ahead and say, I don't know, 7 plus 2. And that should equal uh, 9, not 11. We know how to do math here. We're going to also go ahead and say xc uh, assert equal one more time. We're going to say 12 minus 2 is going to be 10. That should be a 2, not 20. And hopefully this paints a good picture for you guys in terms of what unit tests are and how to actually write them. Now, we already have this test target here, this folder that says Spotify tests. If you didn't have it, you'll need to go to File, New, and create a target. And when you would get this pop-up, you would search in here for a unit test bundle, and you would go ahead and add that in. So we have this unit testing bundle, we already have it. You just need to make sure you add it to your project. One other call out I'm gonna make here is we're running in Xcode 13 beta 5. You can run in the latest stable version of Xcode, but since we're working in the beta here, one thing that we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is make sure our test here, going into the build setting tab at the top, if we search for the set of deployment targets, we want to make sure the deployment target is not set to any beta version of iOS. Now, essentially what this means is we want to set this iOS version to something that is publicly supported. And the reason for this is Code Magic is going to want something that is a public version of iOS and not a beta software. So we don't want this to be iOS 15 since that is in beta right now. 
So cool. So we've got this project set up. What do we need to do now to get our test to actually run when we want to run a build or kick off a build here in CodeMagic? So it's pretty simple. I've got the documentation opened up here from CodeMagic itself. And what we want to go ahead and do is literally copy and paste this into our CodeMagic YAML file. If you're not familiar with the CodeMagic YAML file, have a look at the prior video. And what I'm going to go ahead and do here is simply open up that file. Now it resides inside of our project folder so we're going to cd into that and i'm going to go ahead and say in atom which is another text editor we're going to go ahead and open up codemagic.yaml and that'll go ahead and open up the atom editor here and essentially what i'll do is i'm going to paste in right below the script here what we have copied from the documentation let me just tab that over and we're going to tweak this so what are we going to tweak this to be? Well, we don't really care about the device that our tests are ran on. So we're going to go ahead and rid of, get rid of that. The scheme here that we're going to go ahead and run tests for is Spotify. Now, where am I getting Spotify from? If we go back to our Xcode project at the very top here, you'll see we have our targets and this drop down menu. We have Spotify. That's basically what I'm adding there into the YAML file. Going back to uh, Adam here, we're going to also go ahead and update the workspace. Now we're going to change my awesome app to Spotify.workspace, and this is the name of our workspace file for our project. And essentially, this is the name of the step that's going to run and execute this script. This is actually all that we need to do to configure our project to run unit tests. Now keep in mind, this is all local. So we're going to go ahead and open up terminal. We're going to want to go ahead and uh, commit all of our changes. So we're going to add the code magic file. We're also going to go ahead and add in the Spotify test changes. So we'll go ahead and say git add Spotify tests, just like that. And now that we have both of these things staged, what we can go ahead and simply do here is commit and push it to the master branch. Now, this particular project is set up with a GitHub repo. So we're going to go ahead and add a commit message here of add tests. We're going to go ahead and put a semicolon and do a git push. If you're not familiar with git, drop a comment down below and I'm happy to point you in the direction where you can find resources to get started. So this is essentially our code. It has been pushed. We're going to come back to the dashboard and refresh this here. We're going to hit this little settings gear next to our app, but we should see the YAML file here reflect the YAML file that we have gone ahead and edited here. Now that we've got this set up, all that's left to do is actually run this pipeline. So we're going to go ahead and you can hit it from this button up here. So we're going to say start new build. It's going to be off of the master branch of our Git repo on GitHub where we push to and we've called it Spotify pipeline. How does it know we've called it that? Well, we gave it a name right up here. We gave it a name of Spotify pipeline. So let's go ahead and hit that big blue button to get it started. And essentially, here are the steps it's going to run through. It's going to set up your build machine, which it happens to be, I believe, a Mac Mini here. It actually notates it right on the left-hand side. It also is going to then fetch your app sources, which is the source files from the repo for your project and GitHub. It's going to run all of our tests, and then it's going to publish the results. One cool thing I want to call out here is Code Magic lets you actually connect to the build machine via SSH here that is running your test. So if we go back to terminal, you can actually paste in that command. And if you hit enter, and if you take a look, you've connected to the machine. You see the cool Code Magic logo here, which I thought was pretty awesome. You see the uh, you get connected directly to the builder machine that is building your uh, project here in the uh, platform, which is really cool for testing if anything goes wrong or fails. Here you can see that the job has uh, passed the first two steps and we're now in the iOS test step. Now I'm going to share prior to us waiting 10 minutes, the iOS test step does take, you know, time relevant to the size of your project. Now our Xcode project here is quite large, so it takes around nine minutes to build the entire thing and run through our few number of tests. So I'm going to end up pausing the video so we can jump to that piece. But before I do that, one thing that I do want to bring your attention to 
is, let me first actually close up our terminal window. We're gonna go ahead and open it up one more time. And let's CD into our project. We're gonna say CD desktop and Spotify iOS. Now the one thing that I wanted to call out here, and I'm gonna do a dedicated video on this, is let's say you wanted to test out, you know, executing these tests on your local machine. Now instead of something going wrong, once you pushed all your changes, wouldn't it be great to do this locally? Well, Code Magic has, has thought of this, and you can actually do that locally with the Code Magic command line tools. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate here how to install them. This is going to be a dedicated video, but I do want to give a glimpse. You can actually take the command that we have pasted uh, into our YAML file, and you can actually run it directly here in Terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and expand this just a smidge so we have more room. And you'll see here, run tests for Spotify, and you're going to see a bunch of output which is going to mirror exactly what's going on here on the browser and if you take a look here it's just a tad bit slow uh, it'll do the exact same thing that way if you ever wanted to run your tests locally you have the option to do so there is our output it's gonna start chugging along I'm gonna hit command C to stop this process here since we don't exactly need to do it locally today so here we have our uh, actual iOS test step running and if you take a look at the actual output in here, you're gonna see the process that it goes through is first basically compiling all of the parts of your project. You'll see some warnings there. So long as you don't have any errors in your project, it should not be a problem. But we just are going to wait for this now to continue. We're gonna see some really nice output. Uh, it's called XC Pretty. It actually pretty prints your results of your tests, and then we'll wrap it up here. So I'm gonna probably fast forward this part of the video, or maybe I'll pause it, I'll be back once we wrap it up here. The last thing I'll mention before I go ahead and do that is, if you did connect to the terminal machine, like I showed you via the commands that are offered up here, make sure you close that terminal window because until you disconnect from your build machine, your actual build here on CodeMagic will not conclude. And that is gonna go against your free quota of running these CI jobs. So that is all I've got. I'm gonna pause it here and we'll see you guys in a quick second once our tests here have succeeded. All right, welcome back guys. We have successfully finished this build. You can see that we've got this big green indicator up here on the left and all of our steps are no longer dulled out. Let's go ahead and click into iOS test and see what our output looks like. So first and foremost, you're gonna see a ton of output in here. You can scroll all the way up and read through all of it in case you find it interesting, but we're gonna scroll all the way down. And once you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see this pretty cool looking printout. We're gonna see check marks next to our three tests. It'll show you how long it took to actually execute the tests with of course a check mark and if it were to have failed, a little X mark. Below that, you're gonna see some more information such as the name, the device architecture, the ID, the type of device it tested it on, particularly in this case an iPhone SE, the OS version, the fact that it was a simulator, and you're gonna see some other information as well. So you see a test run summary with test suites, the total number of tests, etc., etc. And there you have it. You've ran your iOS unit test suite on CI CD with Code Magic. Now, before I let y'all go, let's talk about why this is useful and when you should probably set this up. Whenever you're building a production level application, it's really, really strongly encouraged to write out unit tests that are gonna let you test your functionality. So in our case, we've got three tests, one of them testing math and two of them testing out these view models. Now, once you've written these out, imagine if you had to run the test locally every single time, it doesn't scale particularly well, especially when you have a number of engineers working together. Enter CICD. So if using any platform, particularly CodeMagic in this case, you can set up CICD to execute your uh, particular unit tests via your CodeMagic YAML file in an automated fashion. And that's honestly the reason you should really invest in setting up unit tests via 
code magic for your iOS app. So as you guys requested, this is a video that um, I wanted to do for a few days now. There's a lot of other CICD stuff that I've got in the works. Uh, it's been a topic that you guys really enjoyed and I've got a lot more content for it coming. So drop a like down below if that is of interest to you. Subscribe for more and comment if you have any particular things that you wanna see related to CICD, iOS, build tooling in general. Always love making content that you find most valuable and uh, enjoy. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.